Hello, my name is Jarkko Lahti. I'm a Finnish actor and I have a privilege to be here in, uh, at the Concorda Film Festival with our film uh, The Tiger. And hopefully I see you in the audience. Allora, eh, cosa si prova a interpretare il ruolo di un padre disfunzionale? O può estraniarsi emotivamente o è una cosa che poi risulta destabilizzante? How does it feel to play the role of a dysfunctional father? Do you have to alienate yourself or is it destabilizing? Well, I'd say that uh, unfortunately we have this sad kind of over uh, genera generational kind of uh, heritage of uh, huge alcoholism in Finland. Uh, it's maybe because due to wars, you know, we've had a, you know, horrible wars against the uh, uh, Red Army back in, back in the days and uh, we lost a generation there. Yeah. And uh, one heritage, you know, there's a, it's a huge trauma, but one element of it is the alcoholism because back then we didn't have any therapy you know guys just came back and uh, they treated themselves with with alcohol and uh, with drugs and you know it comes from there i believe and um, on the kind of second generation after them so i still know what that's about mm. i don't have thank god i have a pretty good home i don't have that kind of you know background like the like the family in our movie but still it's something that it's easy to relate yeah. so, uh, if i think about i'm i'm today i'm a father of uh, three ki kids and uh, thank god we are moving like way healthier direction with this with these kind of things but uh, it wasn't that tough to to kind of get to the skins of the of the father uh, but the most important thing, of course, is, is the uh, experience of the child. That's, yeah. the, that's the main focus and main thing. Yeah. Uh, appunto su questo, quale valenza simbolica porta con sé il costume da tigre che è stato scelto per la figlia? What's the symbolic value of the costume, the tiger costume chosen for the daughter? <sighs> well... <laughs> there are uh, so many levels. Uh, one is that there is always a clash between generations. They, they always have their own subcultures that the uh, gen one generation before them can't really understand. I believe it's same with my generation if I think about my, my parents, you know. Um, uh, that's one level. It's a, like a shy rebellion in a way. That's the one level. It's also a mask, concrete mask, but also a mental mask to, to, like a, to survive for the, mentally for the, for the kid. We all uh, have our masks, you know, if we have wombs in life, we, we use the masks to survive. Maybe in the film uh, for the father, it's the booze, the alcohol, you know, he, he needs to get wasted to, to just to handle the pain, whatever it is. Uh, and, and for the child, it's the costume and the subculture. This is how I see it, at least. I don't know what Mikko Myllylahti has to say, but this is my, you know, feeling of it. Purtroppo non è stato molto difficile per me immedesimarmi al ruolo tipo del padre, perché in Finlandia abbiamo una tradizione, un problema severo di alcolismo, che magari deriva direttamente tipo dalla nostra storia di orribili guerre che abbiamo avuto contro l'armata la, rossa. Abbiamo perso una generazione intera e questo elemento è diventato una caratteristica del nostro popolo. Cioè, abbiamo eh, una, una grande parte di persone che hanno problemi severi con l'alcolismo, il modo di eh, scappare dalla realtà, sfuggire dalla loro vita. Io personalmente ho due bambini che quindi tipo cioè, sono molto lontano da questa realtà, molto lontano da questo personaggio, però comunque riesco a capire e eh, medesimarmi direttamente in questo ruolo. Quando riguarda invece la seconda domanda, eh, 
Penso che le maschere siano importanti nella vita, è un elemento eh, inseparabile de, della nostra vita quotidiana. Nel caso della bambina la maschera è il suo modo di gestire la sua realtà, come forse nel caso del padre è l'alcol, il suo modo di sfuggire, il suo modo proprio di eh, gestire la realtà. Di e, voi fate un'ultima domanda che riguarda appunto il regista del film, eh, Mikko Milati. Eh, che tipo di rapporto ha instaurato durante il, il cortometraggio e com'è lavorare con lui? I would like to ask you the last question and it will be about the director. How was your relationship with him? How was it working with him, the working experience? Uh, we are good friends. We, uh, we made friends when we were working with the other film, uh, The Happiest Day in the Life of Olli Mackey, uh, just premiered now in Italy, I think. Mm. Uh, by Juho Kuosmanen, and Mikko was a co-writer in that film and I was uh, playing the protagonist. That's how we met and uh, this is, I believe, one of the first at least short films that Mikko is directing himself. But it was easy to work with him. He comes from the northern parts of Finland, uh, from the small town. Myself, I come from the west coast, also from the small town, so kind of a, the mental uh, you know, uh, scenery is, the, is similar for, for like both us. of us. Yeah, we are not from capital, yeah. so it's kind of, it's easy to relate, easy to understand one another. And since we had worked together previously, it was uh, easy to trust him. So I knew, uh, when I uh, read the script, I, I, I knew the character. I, I called Mikko and said that I knew this guy, I, I know this guy. It's, you know something that I really know and uh, it, it was maybe just adjusting like like uh, pointing out some things while shooting in a way I believe we had already in our heads made the made the film it was just kind of uh, you know taking putting notices there and there in a way while shooting that uh, that was my expression uh, my uh, my experiment at, at least so yeah but it was fun i really hope to work with him again thank you thank you non era assolutamente facile lavorare con Mikko perché abbiamo collaborato anche nel passato in un film con Giro Cosmone per cui ho recitato il protagonista e lui viene tipo dalla parte nord di Finlandia mentre io vengo dalla parte dell'est quindi Nessuno di noi tipo, provenga proprio direttamente dalla capitale, mm. quindi abbiamo un po' una mentalità, una lunghezza d'onda simile. E quindi per me, quando ho letto la trama e ho visto il nome di Nico cioè come regista, è stato facile, lo, lo conosco, quindi posso direttamente fidarmi di lui. Anche la nostra esperienza professionale durante il film era facile perché in un certo modo abbiamo già creato il film, abbiamo già finalizzato la nostra testa. Eh, Mico sempre sottolineava dei punti fondamentali che mi aiutavano proprio a recitare. Perfetto. Grazie so much per questo.